Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Uh, we are going to use the Friends for Life dies. We're not actually using any of the stamps from the set. But we're using these two dies from the Friends uh, for Life dies and then the Full of Life Designer Series paper. So Angela, this one's for you. It's the stained glass. Um, so uh, I have glued, I've cut out the basic black and uh, glued it down. I was so excited to do this. I didn't put it on adhesive backed paper. Um, so I used my um, liquid mono glue. If you have the white glue from the catalog, you can dab it on and then just kind of brush it around with your finger so you don't get any kind of pieces that like push out, like gobs of glue that push out. And then just adhere it down to your uh, designer series paper and then cut around it. Um, and then I've got the, um, I always forget the name of these. They are the adhesive backed transparent gems. And I used three of the large ones and three of the small ones on this one. So let's go ahead and get started on this card. I've already cut two of these out. I've got the third one to cut out yet. And I thought I'd do that on the video. But what we've got is a basic black card base. Um, and then I've got a five by three and three quarters for the inside uh, and a five and a quarter by four that I've cut the middle out of because I want to save the paper and that will get matted up and put inside. So that's what I didn't show you on this one. I've actually, it looked really plain just having the white on the inside. So I thought I'd use a piece of the designer series paper and just follow the theme on the inside. Um, and then this is uh, five and a half by three. So it's the full length of the card and then uh, just cut in half. So I don't actually have um, that kind of written out, but it is the full length of the card. So five and a half um, by three. So let's go ahead and cut this one out. Um, when you're fussy cutting, this, this shape is super easy to, to cut out but you turn the paper as you're kind of closing the scissors um, and then you don't get any of those little kind of sharp stops in your, in your cutting. So we're just gonna keep going around and then just come into the middle and just keep moving the scissors just a little tiny bit and then turn the paper. And we just keep going around. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I hope I wasn't out of frame there, but we're just gonna keep going around and around until we get to the other end. Like that, and there we go. Um, and what I did is similar to one of the first videos I did, I used the dies together to cut out the, the black. Um, and then you just have to trim off the end bit here where it doesn't actually cut all the way through. You just have to trim that off to release your, your heart shape from the middle. So let's go ahead and build the card. Super, super simple. We're just going to flat mount the designer series paper like this. And we're going to pop it in the middle of the front of the card and line it up there we go like that and it's a little bit sorry my arms in the frame it's a little bit the edges are a little bit high because of the the blade so what we're going to do now is we're going to layer these up and they fit just over top of each other but what i did is i flat mounted the bottom and put dimensionals under the top. So it's each one kind of stands a little bit up. So we're just going to start doing that. And then just put the dimensionals in. Like this. And put this right in the middle at the top. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to place the other two so that I know 
where I kind of need to be. So I'm going to leave this one here while I adhere this one down. Just bring that forward and then like this. And peel the backs off and we'll do place this one and do the last one I don't have a greeting on this card um, I thought you could do a piece of black cardstock and um, do white embossing powder and heat emboss it um, I just chose to leave it blank it can be anything it could be any kind of card at all so I'll just pop this on like this And then pop this down just a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'm making sure I'm lined up in the middle and pop that down. So that is the front of the card. I'm going to do the inside and then I'll come back and do the adhesive dots. Again, this is a five and a quarter by four that I've cut the center out of so that I can make use of that center on something else later on and then just putting adhesive all the way around the edge there we go and then placing this down again kind of making it equidistant from top bottom and the one side and then it'll be even everywhere and then we're going to take our five by three and three quarter piece of basic white And I haven't done anything on the inside. You could put a greeting on the inside if you wanted to. Um, however you want to make the card, whichever designer series paper sheets you want to use, um, it's all good. And again, those edges are just a little bit up, so I'm just going to do that. And now let's put our translucent adhesive backed gems down. So I'm putting three small ones down the bottom here and just placing them on like that. Oops, that one's just a little bit over. And of course this one's going to be difficult. So we're just going to, and that's not gonna work, so I'm just gonna leave it on my work surface and I'll pick up another one. And pop that down like that. I'm gonna move that one over just a little bit. And then we're gonna turn it around and we're going to put the large ones at the top like this and there we go you can put them as close together as you want or as far apart as you want as long as they're kind of evenly spaced and there we go that is our stained glass heart card uh using the friends for life dies and the full of life designer series paper so thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon